Okay, so I've been thinking about a walking stick project for a while, so today I grabbed my handy dandy saw and I went out into the woods. Well, I say out in the woods because there's about a 15 acre vacant stand of woods right next to where I live. And the sad fact of the matter is that every place in Florida that doesn't have condos on it has homeless on it. So as you can see, they've been here too. But hey, homeless guys need a place to live too. So this looks like I'm 20 miles out in the woods, but it's really right next to the condos that I live in. You can see a couple of the cars going by. And what I'm looking for here is I'm looking for a nice piece of straight oak about an inch and a half to two inches around or in diameter that I can make into a nice walking stick or a walking staff. And that's kind of challenging in Florida. Oh, there's a frying pan. That's not going to be too good of a walking stick. Uh, there's a raincoat. That's not going to be too good. The challenging part is trying to find a nice piece of straight oak uh, that's dead. Uh, oh, here is a down tree. Wow. This looks pretty promising. Wow, look at those couple of pieces right on the end. Holy mackerel. That's as straight a piece of oak as I can have ever found out here. It kind of branches on the end, but man, look at how straight that is. It kind of bends. Oh, and here's another piece right at the end. If I ever wanted to make a cane or a shorter walking stick, man, I'm going to have to remember where this is. Whew. I think I might have found what I'm doing. Let's take a closer look at these. All right. Yep. We got a couple of, let's make sure it's dead here. Um, yeah, that snaps right off. This has been here for a while. Yeah. It, oh, man. Look at how straight that is. Got a couple of bends to give it some character. All the way up at the end, it gets a little skinny, but all the way back down here, right before this turn. Oh, yeah. That's right about a nice hand hold or a hand width around. That's the guy that we're going to choose right there. That should make a great walking staff. Okay. So, obviously, the first thing you want to do is make sure that what you're cutting down is dead that's a nice straight piece because i cut down a live pine sapling to make my tarp tent a while back and i got a ton of messages chastising me for cutting down a pine sapling but this one i can assure you is dead so we're going to cut it all the way down just at the underside of this knot i got a nice sharp saw here and you can see it's nice and dry all the sawdust is kicking out Oh, yeah, man, this is going to work out good. Just about the right diameter. Yep, it's nice and dry. Man, this is the one that's going to do it. Okay, here we got uh, the walking stick laid out in the back tailgate of my truck. Man, this thing is really, really long. But it's really, really good. I really, really like it. It's nice and thick up here where my hand hold's going to be. Um... What we're gonna do is, I think we're gonna cut it right down, right down where it forks, right here. That's gonna leave us a pretty long stick, about as wide as the truck is, about as long as the truck is wide. Uh, that's pretty good. It's got one knot here that I think I'm gonna trim off. I don't really know how long I want to make this walking stick yet, so I'm just going to leave it, leave it the full length all the way down to here, and I'll skin all the bark off of it, and then um, uh, I'll determine what length I want it. Okay, so now we're inside where it's nice and cool, which is good because, man, it's hot outside. So I got a couple of them. This one I cut about six weeks ago, and I'll show this to you in a minute. This has been sitting in my office room for about six weeks drying out. This would still have a little bit of life left to it, but this is the one we just cut. Uh, this this is the one we just cut and it's still got the bark and the junk on it. Man, it is long. 
as you can see it's nice and dry on this side no checks or anything and on the other end nice and smooth nice and dry no checks man this thing is like seven feet tall <laughs> so it's a little high for a walking stick but i want to make it a little bit longer than this one i made this one this length for a reason and i'll show you why but i also want to show you the grain that's in this one in a minute this the longer one i think i'm going to trim off and I think I'm going to make it another maybe a foot longer to make not a not a walking stick stick but maybe like a staff type you know something that you could defend yourself with if you had to I think I'm going to put a handle on each one of them uh, and I'll put a nice paracord wrap and a nice paracord handle on this one but let me show you the grain and the look of this one up close that's been drying for six weeks and i, I, I want to get your opinion on something okay this is the one that's been drying for six weeks hopefully you can see it's kind of variegated there's some white spots and there's still some brown patches uh i think that I, I could sand out or skin out all of the brown patches and it would just be totally white but I'm kind of thinking that that would look geez, I'm, I'm kind of thinking that that would look really really cool when I stained it I think I'm gonna leave a couple of these knots and a couple of these little little black parts and I think all I'm gonna do is just stain this smooth and and I think I'm just going to put a coat of golden oak, a couple coats of golden oak stain on it. And it's going to give me like a tri-color walking stick. I think this is look really, really cool. Let me know what you think, whether I should uh, skin this all off and make it white or I should leave it like this because you're my viewers and this is your walking stick. So I need your vote and your opinion. Okay. Here we go with part one of Florida walking stick. We went out and got our stick, we cut it to length, uh, and we're trying to determine what to do with it. In the next installment, we're gonna go over cleaning the bark off of the longer one, and we're gonna go over some staining options and uh, some handle wraps and uh, maybe a, a urethane finish or something, or an end cap, I'm not sure yet. But I do want your opinion on the on this kind of tri-colored one that i just showed you a minute ago i i, I really want to know if you guys think that i should sand it because I, I can skin more off and sand it and it would be totally white and and it, it would a couple of coats of golden oak stain it would look great uh or whether you think that i should keep it uh, kind of the brown and the white and then go over it with golden oak stain that would look really, really interesting and distinctive, I think. They're gonna look great either way, but please drop a comment below and let me know if you think I ought to keep it brown and white or just sand it off totally white. So stay tuned for the next installment on how to make a Florida walking stick. I think you're gonna like it. Uh, once again, this is Matt the Old Florida Boy, and I will see you on the trail.